everybody. Another video here for you today. As I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to try to take care of the states I have not talked about. We're going to talk about Maine today. I'm going to go down to a site called the Whaleback Shell Midden. You never know what you're going to find. This place was huge a long time ago. Here's the site today on the Damariscotta River, right down here. There once was a massive mound down here, a shell midden, basically. Today, a little bit of a rise, a little bit left of this ancient site today. Down on Street View, there is a little sign here, Whaleback Shell Mound. If you're driving fast, you might just blow right past that. Here's a look at the site from on the bridge right nearby. This is the site right here. Here's a look from inside the park, a little information center here, and what remains of this ancient mound. Here's a look from on shore right near by the site here. Big boulders down here, and you look up here, this is the remains of the shell mound right here, once over a thousand feet long. Here's a look from across the river, a little bit of this mound is still visible today, buried kind of up in the woods here. It says originally, Whaleback Midden was more than 30 feet deep, more than 1,650 feet in length, and a width varying from 1,320 to 1,650 feet. And that is one of the bigger mounds, the biggest mound by dimensions, maybe not by height, but by dimensions that I think I've read about. Here is a look down by the river below the mound, and the shells are just kind of spilling down here onto the shore. Here's a look from inside the woods, the top of the mound right here, what remains of the shell mound down below. They think people migrated to this area of Maine about 3,000 years ago, but it could have been a lot earlier. Here's a pic from 1886. You notice two guys standing down there at the bottom. It says these two men are standing next to the whaleback shell mound. Shell middens, often called shell heaps or shell mounds, are rubbish dumps left by prehistoric peoples, usually in coastal areas. They consist mainly of discarded shells along with related cultural materials such as bone, ceramic pots, and stone tools. Middens can range in size from a thin scattering of shells to massive ones like this. The upper Damariscotta River is famous for its enormous oyster shell heaps. Native Americans created the middens over a period of about a thousand years between 2200 and 1000 years ago. Here's another pic from about 135 years ago. The east side of the river once contained an enormous shell heap named Whaleback because of its shape. Much of this midden was removed in the late 1880s to supply a factory built here to process the oyster shells and the chicken feed. As a result, only a small portion of Whaleback remains today. The mining business, Massachusetts-based Darmascata Shell and Fertilizer Company built several structures here to house this work. The structures contained a fertilizer factory, a mill or grinder, a dryer, well, and a storehouse. Workers packed and shipped more than 200 tons of shells during the operation, with much of the mining apparently completed in the first year. Indeed, after only three months, Abram Gamage wrote, the shell heap is dwindling away, and after this month, the grandeur of the heap will be so far gone as not to be worth going to see. I will leave a few links below, but here's another look at this massive shell mound. I guess they also use some of this for road construction over 100 years ago. Here's a look at layering from this mound. People think they occupied this place for about 1,200 years, up until about 1,000 years ago. A lot of these mound sites that were destroyed over 100 years ago, we do not have pics of. I was glad to find these historical pics coming from the mound in the late 1800s here. I guess the main part of the mound was about 400 feet long, but it extended for over 1,500 feet. Here is another very old pick, things found in the mound in the 1880s when they were doing the fertilizer operation and dismantling the mound. Human remains, stone tools, looks like some pottery shards were found here. 1891, this fertilizer operation burned to the ground and was discontinued. Here's an old postcard looking out from the Whaleback site at the Glidden Midden across the river. The Glidden Midden is now the largest mound site in Maine. Well back used to be. That is a video on an ancient mound site in Maine I didn't know about till uh, about a couple hours ago. Just thought I would make that one. Check Maine off the list. Ancient America is full of these sites. That mound site was very huge. That surprised me. 
of the history of this place. Whoops, let's get organized. The history of this place that we call the United States today. A lot of fascinating periods. That is Maine right there. Hope we thought that was cool. And you all have a very safe day.